Welcome to another edition of On Campus here on the Solano College Sports Network. I'm your host, Nate McKay. And today I'm being joined by another student, a part of the sports broadcasting program offered here at Solano Community College, Nathan Farmer. Nathan, thanks for joining me. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. So Nathan, how did you find out about this program? Um, honestly, I was just kind of looking through the uh, the list, in the course catalog, catalog or whatever it's right. called on the uh, Solano website, and I saw that there was a sports broadcasting class that was being offered, and it's always been kind of a dream job for me to get into sports broadcasting so I definitely took up that wanted to take up that opportunity right most definitely so what were you expecting when you first fully committed to taking this class um I honestly really didn't know what to expect <laughs> I had never heard of the sports broadcasting program so mm -hmm. I didn't really know what exactly it entailed I knew what kind of went into uh, sports broadcasting but I, I really didn't know what to expect so what has been your main job or responsibility, rather, when being a part of this program? Um, in the spring, I did mostly uh, camera work and for like the baseball games and softball games. But as the semester went on and as we went into the, the summer semester as well, I started doing um, broadcasting, like doing play-by-play -play and color commentary. And that's kind of was my dream job going in I kind of thought that's mm -hmm. like all it was going to be but that but then like getting introduced to the camera work and all that stuff kind of opened my eyes to like the broader field of sports broadcasting right of course and how would you describe being a play-by-play -play color commentator uh it's a lot more challenging mm -hmm. than I expected it to be I kind of I mean as a Giants fan I've watched Dwayne Kuyper and Mike Kruko and Dave Fleming and John Miller and they they just make it seem so easy and honestly I was totally underprepared for like my first broadcast I thought I had all this stuff that I needed to know for a broadcast and I it totally caught me off guard how I mean even I mean baseball is a very slow paced sport compared right. to like basketball mm -hmm. or football but it I was totally I I was not keeping up at all. It was, it was a struggle for right. the first few games. Do you have a favorite sport that you've done so far this past semester? Um, definitely baseball. It's. I mean, I've I've always been a baseball fan mm -hmm. growing up, and um, I, I've gone to Solano for about two years now, and I hadn't gone to any of the sporting events, but like going to like baseball and basketball events, I like really started cheering for these teams that I right. really didn't know anything about mm -hmm. and it's just overall been really fun. And then how would you describe taking one of these classes that this program has to offer? Um, it's challenging at first like the the very first day looking at all the like the equipment and stuff is like man I, I don't know how I'm gonna remember how to set all this stuff up how am I gonna remember what everything does mm -hmm. I don't know what go all these 27 different cords and whatever that need to go specific places and but just sticking with it was really probably the best decision just kind of being patient knowing that I wasn't gonna succeed at the very like I wasn't gonna remember everything just kind of remembering to ask questions mm -hmm. and um, just remembering I'm not gonna get it right the first time right and it got easier as time went on right yeah definitely. most definitely yeah. yeah it was a bit of a struggle same mm -hmm. thing what I went through as well I can definitely relate to what you're mm -hmm. saying bit of a struggle at first but as time goes on you really start to get into the right flow and start mm -hmm. to memorize oh where does this go where does this wire go where does this plug and mm -hmm. go you know as really you start to study it more and you start to get a good balance of saying okay I know where everything goes now so mm -hmm. yeah most definitely I can see what you say in having a challenge at first and so what has been your favorite memory being a part of this program? Oh, my, <laughs> the, I guess the most fun memory, not really my favorite memory, was uh, one of the crazy baseball games we did this past semester between uh, Napa Valley and Solano. The final score was like 19 to 17. <laughs> it was just, it just kept going and going. And just looking back, it was the most ridiculous <laughs> thing that I've, I think I've done, just watching like a five-hour baseball game <laughs> that like made me late for my night class and just it was just overall really fun even though Solano lost it was just a fun hanging out kind of and I think I was doing color commentary for that game oh really so it was 
just <laughs> describing how how just mind-boggling that game was. It, was. it was really fun. Well, at least you had a good excuse, right, for being yeah, late to that night class? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you've done this class for about two, three semesters, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, two so, semesters, yeah. So what would you... What advice would you give to someone that is interested in being a part of this program? I, w I would say just to stick with it. It's I've it, it was really hard coming in. Just I mean I I really didn't know what to expect. It was kind of a lot, way more than what I expected. And um, yeah, just sticking with it. Just being patient with yourself and not forgetting to ask questions. That's the biggest thing. And then, what do you hope this program? can help you with your education or career path of your choosing? I'm, I'm hoping to get into uh, sports broadcasting in, in college and hopefully make that as a career. I have a current transfer application into um, BYU out in Utah and they, oh, have, really? they have a really good program with mm -hmm. television in general. They have their own television network right. and it could help me get into just general broadcasting and um, not necessarily sports, but yeah. And would you say that being a part of this program has definitely helped you be be prepared, be ready for that, you know, program you were talking about at BYU? Oh yeah, definitely. I I just kind of doing research. It's as our professor Greg Poff said, this is like one of the only sports broadcasting uh, classes at the community college level in the entire country. So it's um, I'll definitely have a step up going into the program if I am admitted, obviously. Right, and you don't have to be just interested in sports, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you want to yeah. be a part of this program, there's more than you can just do than just, mm -hmm. you know, working a sports broadcast mm -hmm. or, you know, talking about, you know, local teams and everything, right? There's more options, right? Yeah, you, it, sports broadcasting isn't all in front of the camera. There's behind the camera jobs. You really don't need to know anything about sports to be able to be in sports broadcasting. Right, and most definitely. Well, Nathan, I appreciate you taking the time to be here to talk a yeah. little about the program. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So that's going to wrap it up for this edition of On Campus here on the Slaw College Sports Network. For my guest, Nathan Farmer, I'm Nate McKay. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope to see you next time. If you are interested in a career in sports broadcasting, whether you're commentating a live game, or hosting your own TV show. Or working behind the scenes, then this is the class for you. For more information, contact Greg Poff. That's me at Solano.edu. We hope to see you here next semester. And remember, it's more than just sports, it's an education. <laughs>